What to do in Oxford, England. The oldest university city in the UK, Oxford boasts an incredible array of centuries-old colleges, dignified monuments, and soaring spires. While the world-renowned university's historic halls certainly dominate and define the town, there are also pretty riverside walks to enjoy and a thriving pub scene. Steeped in tradition, but lively and youthful at the same time, Oxford is well worth visiting and makes for a great day trip or weekend away from London. 10. Balliol College. Another college that claims to be the oldest in the university is Balliol College, which was founded in 1263. Rivaling both Merton College and University College in terms of age, it is located right next to Trinity College on Broad Street. Besides checking out its charming quads, it is well worth strolling along the delightful logic lane which runs between its chapel, hall, and library. 9. University of Oxford Botanic Garden. Set to the southeast of the center is the beautiful University of Oxford Botanic Garden, which lies right next to Merton College. One of the oldest scientific gardens in the world, it has a plethora of paths stroll along with colorful flowers, plants, and trees wherever you look. Originally established in 1621 as a physic garden full of medicinal plants and herbs, it now contains over 8,000 different species with everything, from ferns and lilies to palms, roses and even Venus flytraps on display. 8. Radcliffe Camera. Radcliffe Camera operates as a reading room for Oxford University students and is inaccessible to the public, but it is still well worth stopping by for its architecture. One of the most famous and photographed landmarks in the city, it exhibits some spellbinding Palladian-style features, such as grand Corinthian columns and a balustraded parapet lining the circular library. 7. Oxford Castle. Aside from the university and all its colleges, gardens, and monuments, one of the city's main tourist attractions is Oxford Castle. Located to the west of the center, the sprawling ruins of the medieval castle are fascinating to explore with crumbling crypts, towers, and prison cells. Originally a wooden mott and bailey castle with a moat around it, it was rebuilt and reinforced out of stone by the Normans around the late 12th century. 6. Magdalen College. On the opposite side of town you'll find Magdalen College, one of the largest and loveliest of the university's colleges. As well as the renowned and resplendent Magdalen Tower, it boasts cloisters, quads and a chapel, with even a large deer park to be found within its confines. While wandering around its green spaces you'll spy lots of beautiful buildings. 5. Pitt Rivers Museum. Nestled away to the northeast of the center is the fabulous Pitt Rivers Museum, which houses an eclectic array of artifacts and archaeological findings. As its collection is still largely arranged and displayed in a Victorian style, this makes exploring its hall all the more memorable. Since being founded in 1884, its already extensive ethnographic and archaeological collection has expanded considerably and now includes over 600,000 items and objects. 4. Oxford University Museum of Natural History. Offering a fascinating look into the history and diversity of life on Earth, is the Oxford University Museum of Natural History. Adjoining the Pitts River Museum, its equally impressive collection is housed within a stunning neo-Gothic building that was fittingly designed to be a cathedral to science. Founded in 1850, its exhibits are centered around a decorated inner court. 3. Ashmolean Museum. Just a short stroll away is the Ashmolean Museum which is remarkably the oldest public museum in the country. First opened in 1683, it has a collection of artworks, artifacts and archaeological findings for visitors to enjoy all housed within a magnificent neoclassical building. In total there are 39 galleries to wander around that focus on various civilizations and cultures from around the globe. 2. Bodleian Library. Not only one of Europe's oldest libraries but one of its most beautiful too, the Bodleian Library lies on the east side of town between the Sheldonian Theatre and Radcliffe Camera. In total, a staggering 13 million books, manuscripts, and maps make up its huge collection. The main research library of the university, it was established in 1602 with countless kings, prime ministers, and Nobel laureates having studied within its hallowed halls. 1. Christ Church. Arguably the most popular and picturesque of Oxford's colleges, the sprawling Christ Church has a whole host of interesting sites to check out. Just south of the city center, it boasts attractive architecture with an impressive quad, cathedral, and halls amidst its picturesque grounds. Due to all the splendor on show, Christ Church has appeared in numerous TV shows and films and its great hall was the setting for Hogwarts Dining Hall in the Harry Potter films.